So when archives arrive, they can be in any state whatsoever. Sometimes they'll be in nice boxes like this, and I believe some of the Conra archive is actually nicely boxed like this. Uh, sometimes it'll come in shopping bags, uh, in you know shopping cartons, in crates, anything at all. Um, and the Conra archive is 500 boxes, so it is really huge. Uh, and one of the first jobs the archivist will have will be to remove it from whatever it arrives in, something like this, uh, and to put it in uh, proper archival standard boxes that will preserve it and protect it from uh, mold or damp and so on uh, and I'll show you some here the boxes look like this uh, and they're of a preservation standard like I say that'll protect the contents so the archivist then has a huge job to actually look at the contents of the archive and something as big as Conrad will take a considerable time to do that and decide what's the best way to arrange it for ease of use of researchers in the future. So they'll they'll collect it together in series, like all the minutes might be together, um, meetings of the branches and so on of Conrad might be together. Um, and then once they have arranged it or considered an arrangement for it, they then start to describe or list um, the archive in our catalogue. And again, that's to facilitate researchers searching for the topic they're interested in and being pointed to the relevant bit of the archive through that search and again a, a, an archive as big as Conra no one will need to have to go through all 500 boxes to find the bit that they're interested in the process of cataloging and describing it will facilitate that process for researchers and the other part then that will happen is we'll identify pieces of the archive to digitize and what's digitized will be made available online on the internet the open web so the public and researchers in other places can access the treasures that are in the archive as well and and we can really spread interest in the history of Conra and the history of the Irish language. The ballot of an election, or the results of an election of the London branch of Conrad Nguyen in 1915, which elected um, Michael Collins to the committee of Conrad. I mean, first of all, I hadn't been aware that Michael Collins had an involvement with the Irish language, it's probably my ignorance, um, but also the fact that he was in London in 1915, uh, and I understand he left at the end of 1915, so he'd been involved with the Conrad and, and then obviously was instructed to return um, in preparation for 1916, I guess, so that was really interesting.